come in London. Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back as Godan. So you can get with this or that. This video, Bank or Bank, seems to be very popular. And I gotta say, I appreciate everyone's viewership and everyone's time, especially during this crisis. Now this video has gotten a lot of watch time. And I don't know why. Let me but I think it has something to do with the situation no, right now. Right and the philosophy and economics of natural motion. Let me sum up. Anyone seen this before? It says that at this point on the revenue curve, you will get exactly the same amount of revenue as Come at this point. Voodoo economics. Inconceivable! Well, it's no longer a mystery. The big guy is out there, and everyone has seen him. Is he a tattooed Zeus? Could be. Berserker? Ranger? Well, he's a berserker. And he's going crazy. And now, many players aren't overly enthused. Some like the developer's new blog. They say we get more answers. But we can't really ask questions. But it does give us a foregleam to what's coming up. There used to be lots of available leaks. Some of them were true, but currently, no leak is true. Besides the blog, our new titan, Uranus, Uranus, however you want to say it, he's our titan. Some thought another titan was going to come out, but no, this is it. But back to the other event, the solo event. It ended early, and there was no mention of the early ending in the blog. None whatsoever. No compensation, no anything. I know of a player who spent 40,000 gems for nothing, and it hurts. It is what it is. So, here's our calendar. A lot of good stuff, or stuff coming out. Artemis, Kronos, and it will say if it's a 2.0 or not. And if there's a war. But what I liked about this blog post is this. Some people aren't going to like it. Some people are upset because we no longer have the 500 divine jump pool. But when the community asks for something, be aware of what you ask for. Because of our, or some people's comments and complaints, the divine altar has been changed. But I'm liking this right now. Looking at our new titans, Necrosa and Lifespark, both are available for a guaranteed 15,000 divine gems. That's a lot of divine gems. I'm over 8,000 and I'm going to try to save. I know the meta is going to change and yada yada yada. I just want something that most people won't have. And that's one of these titans. I'm going to try to get one. But we'll see. And the altar has changed even more. The 12,000 divine gem altar contains 4 star divine Japanese titans and invokers. Oni, Huntress, Nakosa, and Lifespark at a 30% chance. Is it worth that 30% chance to try to get one of these uh, new ones? The Invokers? Divine Invokers? It is, but I'm scared. That's a big number. However, these are the only four Titans in there. That's it. To get Oni or Huntress is not bad, especially Oni. I'd like to see what he can do with the new relics. I no longer have them on the test account. And the Ancient Titans at 10,000 Divine Gems include Oni and the Huntress. And there's a full list below. You guys can get onto the blog yourself, or you can check out Steel Spines Blogspot and get the complete list. This is something I don't want to pull. I'm not liking this. Either go broke or don't pull at all. Go for the relics. We've all seen this. Don't need to rehash. But here we go Uranus, the event details, right? Now, this Titan buffs himself and human troops. And he summons Omega Militia and Omega Archers. A little bit like Cerberus. A little bit like Dionysus. Some say with these buffs alone. You can check it out in dotdatabase.net. He will be the best Omega Archer Titan out there. Without any relics. 
and there are two new relics being offered sky shackled and bloody sickle now the thing is if you already have an attacker is he going to change your game no is he a fun collectible yes will he be able to take out some defenses that you cannot take out with the other titans absolutely but here we go some more omega archer relics very cool stretch hard to get why is it hard to get well, here are the milestones now this is where it gets crazy this is the voodoo economics ain't nobody making money and if you're working you want to save my stimulus check is not going to Donna Titans I say it again my stimulus check is not going to Donna Titans you got to grind 25,000 gems excuse me 25,000 souls to get to the end for the sky shackles there are some good boosts though 1.4 boost what's it take a lot of different stuff Lithotor, Yaluth, Mamesh, or Wukong. Or a 1.2 boost. And of course, there's a new boost relic, the Scarlet Candle. Crazy. The Alliance ranking rewards are set for the top 100 to get Uranus. How do you want to do it? Top 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 50? Then it's just gems. But going back to this up here. Looks like you can get yourself some Divine Gems in quite a bit. 550 at 24,000, 300 at 19,000. This event is offering Divine Gems at 13,200 at 9,100. People are going to do this for the Divine Gems. Why? Let's we'll scroll back up. It's because of the change to the Divine Gem Altar. Everybody wants to have a go. At either getting these new titans or pulling new relics people ask what should i do well it's up to you you gotta look at what you have in your stable and what you have for your relics either way it goes nothing belongs to you it all belongs to natural motion keep that in mind so as always relax enjoy be balanced have fun take care life moves pretty fast you don't stop and look around once in a while.